first wave of yuppie scum, among other things, who are colonizing the area, the couple finally settled in a Bowery, uh, uh, in the Bowery, uh, after an underground theater performer named Ben <coughs> Quinn offered them one floor of a three-story loft building. Quinn was serving as the temporary landlord of 266 Bowery, and it became a whirlwind of creative activity after he invited fashion designer Stephen Sprouse to live on the top floor. Uh, Chris Stein recalled, referring to one of Debbie Harry's iconic outfits, Benton made the leather briefs that Debbie wore with that vulture t-shirt, and he also painted some of her early stage props. Uh, he made a lot of cartoon-like cutout things that would get pummeled on stage by Debbie, like during Kung Fu Girls. 